Good evening and welcome to the Toby River. It is after sunset and we're sitting at that amazing lion sighting. Our lions are busy on an elephant carcass. Um, the elephant died of natural causes in the river. We're not quite sure why, but these lions now had a feast for three days. The light has gotten very, very low around here and I want to talk to you about how to shoot in low light conditions. I always say beggars can't be choosers and right now we are all begging for light. We need to try and let light enter our ca camera in all possible ways. Number one, we're going to allow our shutter to become much lower than what we would feel comfortable with. Regularly we say we would like to be double our focal length. Right now I'm shooting on a 600mm lens so I would ideally want to shoot on a 1200 Ideally, I would like to shoot on a thousand two hundredths of a second. Right now, I'm going to bring my shutter speed down to just around my focal length and see what that gives me. At the same time, I'm going to open up our, my aperture as wide as possible. The lowest I can go on a full zoom is 6.3. An f2.8 lens would be absolute ideal for that situation at the moment. Unfortunately, I don't have one with. If I look through my camera shooting on manual, that now provides me with an ISO of over 20,000. While that sounds like an awful lot, it is. It now depends on your camera gear, how much noise or grain it will produce in your camera. Fortunately, the, uh, the camera I'm shooting on is quite good. Generally, a full frame camera will be better equipped for shooting a low light shot than a crop sensor camera. Let's have a look. The more desperate you become, the lower you will bring your shutter. That's the only thing you can do in low light condition, being aware that you need to be absolutely dead steady. I'm pressing my camera into my bean bag here and hoping that our line won't move too much either. Last but not least, we can do some slow motion blurs if these animals would start moving. In a still situation like that, it is very difficult to pan them on purpose. He would have to shake his head, shake his mane, shake the water out. <coughs> then we could decide to drop our shutter speed even lower. As you can see, we're the last boats on the river, except our colleague boat over there with our guest from Cape Town. We are going to enjoy this until the absolute last minute. If all else fails, you can shoot video. You can have a much slower shutter speed on video if you just want to get some footage. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell button if you want to get notifications from us. Good night. <laughs>